Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, we're going to be talking about some of the best artificials to use for catching black drum. Now, typically, when you think about black drum, you don't really think about catching them on artificial lures. However, it is very possible, especially if you're fishing a school of black drum, or you can sight fish them on the flats. If you're fishing deeper, let's say in uh, inlets or passes or around bridges, it can be a little bit more difficult, but it can be possible if you're using a depth finder or a side scan and you can pinpoint where those fish are because the biggest thing is just getting one of these lures in front of those fish so they can see it and or smell it and you'll typically get a strike. So first you really have to understand the types of baits that black drum are typically eating and also how they locate their food. Uh, the types of baits are typically going to be shrimp, crabs, shellfish, uh, sandworms, crustaceans, anything that they can find that they nose around for in the mud and in the grass. So as far as imitating those baits, you want to imitate them as best as possible. And also you want to make sure you have some scent. So I have two gulp baits here, which are already scented. You don't need to add any more scent to these. And then I have two baits over here that are not scented and I will typically add uh, Procure gel to those baits. And this is actually the blue crab scent. You can really use any type of scent, but of course you wanna try to imitate again as best as you can to the actual food that they're eating. So blue crab, I will put that on crab imitations and also paddle tails. And again, the gulp baits really don't need any scent added to them because they are infused with scent. So let's go ahead and talk about my favorite artificials for targeting black drum and at the end I will talk about my number one. So the baits that I have here, as I already mentioned, I have two gulp baits, a gulp shrimp. This is a three inch gulp shrimp in the new penny color. That seems to be a very effective size and also uh, color for black drum. Then I have a gulp jerk shad. This is a five inch gulp jerk shad. This is in the camo color. Uh, the camo color has that greenish color on the back and then a red belly. Uh, seems to be a really good color for black drum and also just the plain watermelon color works really well. And then these two lures over here, this is the uh, Slam Shady color, Z-Man Minnow Z. Actually works really well for black drum. I'm not sure why they like that white color, but I have caught a couple black drum on this type of lure. And when you're using paddle tails, those fish have to be a little bit aggressive. They will chase down a bait uh, if they are being aggressive, territorial, anything like that. So paddle tails can work really well if they're worked really slow, almost dragging them on the bottom. Or if you have a bigger paddle tail with a light weight, you can keep it higher up in the water column and just slowly drag it right in front of those fish and they'll usually pick it up. And then the last bait that I have here is a fiddler crab imitation. This is a Chase Baits USA crusty crab. It's about two inches long and it's the perfect size for these fish. It's nice and small and imitates a crab really well. And this would be best in water that's pretty clear so those fish can actually see it and smell it because it is so small. As you can see here, it's a very small lure but it looks so realistic as you can see there. Awesome little bait for black drum. Now when I am rigging up any of these soft plastics, whether it's the shrimp, jerk shad, or the paddle tail, I prefer to use a jig head just because you seem to get better hookups with the jig head. Uh, black drum have pretty small mouths in comparison to redfish. And this jig head is just small enough that it really uh, makes a good hook to hook those fish. Also with the hook point exposed, you are more likely to hook into those fish. They have pretty tough mouths. Uh, they're very rubbery. Again, they're very small. So a jig head, in my opinion, has worked really well for getting a good hook set on those fish. Now, if I had to narrow it down to just one bait to use for black drum, it would have to be the gulp shrimp. I have caught more black drum on this one single lure than any other soft plastic. So the gulp shrimp on a 1 8 ounce jig head has worked really well for casting the black drum and getting them to eat. So that will wrap up this video. Hopefully these tips can help you out if you do get out there and you happen to come across some black drum on the flats. They are a very fun fish to fight, very strong fighters, very similar to that of redfish, very heavy fish. So they will take you for a ride if you're on your kayak or paddleboard and just put up a really good fight. So again, number one lure choice would be a gulp shrimp, that three inch new penny gulp shrimp on a one eighth ounce jig head. 
And then also you have the Gulp Jerk Shad, Slam Shady Paddle Tail, uh, Minnow Z, and also the Chase Baits USA, Krusty Crab. And remember, if you are using these unscented baits, it's always good to add some scent to them to get the attention of those fish. They are scent feeders. They do rely heavily on scent and also feel to find their food. So again, adding scent, having lures that imitate whatever they're feeding on is definitely going to be a plus. So if you have any questions about this or any additional tips you would like to share, definitely let us know in the comments down below. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Hey there, I'm Joe Simons. And I'm Luke Simons. And we are the Salt Strong Brothers. Real quick, two things we need your help. Number one, my brother Luke here has really low self-esteem. <laughs> and so it would mean the world to him and really boost his confidence if you would just subscribe to our channel. Not only will we make him feel better, which is awesome, but you will never miss out on one of our amazing new tips. All right, so number two, if you're not catching as many inshore saltwater fish per trip as you feel you deserve based on how much time and money you've put into fishing, then check out our Insider Fishing Club. It gives real-time trends that are actionable trends to make sure that you're maximizing your time in the feeding zones and minimizing your time in the dead zones. And even if you don't have time to fish as much as you want, you'll still save hundreds of dollars on our discounts alone. Click down below now or go to saltstrone.com to learn more. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong in Widow